Hi everyone, uh, today is Friday, October 12, and this video is going to be about pay differential and uh, volunteerism. Now, based on observations and additional things, I've noticed that, um, for example, in this one demographic, in uh, this one, starting with this one province in um, Canada, they promote themselves as, you know, being inclusive and all this nonsense. And it's exactly that. It's pure nonsense. What I've been sort of looking at is ways to, okay, you, I, you see gaps and then you, you know, have to be able to um, come to some kind of consensus, you know, determine some kind of solution or whatever. And I shouldn't say whatever so loosely like that, but I mean in addition to. Anyways, they have this practice where what they do is they recruit a lot of people into volunteer positions. And the volunteer position becomes uh, another form of exploited labor. If you look at, for example, the volunteers who are actually integrated into the infrastructure, it's not a lot of people of color. And I'm spe talking about specific contexts that I've been sort of following. And, um, you know, volunteerism is, volunteering is actually a very good uh, thing to do. I've been doing it all my life, and um, I find it's a very good way to, um, you know, develop different social skills, but also to, to develop, you know, intellectual interests and, you know, do personal skills development in relation to other things and aspects, contexts, etc. But they have this practice where they even connect people who volunteer to low income status. So for example, people that are receiving um, this thing called social help, um, they will actually say that, you know, they will actually get some kind of benefit if they stay on social welfare, but volunteer, but not get employed by the organization. It's a very, very sick practice. and you know, it's another way to sustain something called differential in poverty. It really amazes me to see even practices like this in the, um, you know, the global economic north. And this one province is very, very notorious. It's actually Ontario. They're very notorious for exploiting um, labor. I didn't even know that they had, um, what do you call it, uh, these uh, plantation economies in Ontario. You can actually go to the plantations and you see people that are actually brought into the country through immigration uh, streams and um, they actually exploit the labor and then they, you know, these persons are exposed to all sorts of stuff, all sorts of inhumanities. Like for example, if, you know, the Canada citizen, for example, I really hate this word citizen because you know what, we're global, ci we're universe citizens. So there's no borders, there's no boundaries, you know, that's all a type of colonial thinking. But anyways, people come into, um, for example, Ontario, and you know what, they put them on these uh, plantations, and it's like slavery labor. I didn't even know these things existed in Canada. So I was like, wow, you know, that's terrible. Families are split apart, and then, you know, these persons end up begging. You know, some of them are, um, they ship them right back to wherever they came from. Like, they treat them like shit. And this is under something called the, um, in Canada, they have, like, different um, governance positions, is what I call them. Because, you know, we, we all make decisions. And um, it's under the, um, I call them the blood red. Because that's all they look for, is blood, confusion, and sustaining dehumanization. It's a liberal party. Now, a lot of us, you know, if you hear how some people talk in Canada about the Liberal Party, oh, well, you know, they brought us into the country. You know what? How the fuck is slavery, domestic slavery, beneficial to us fucking people? Use your fucking common sense. Would you like it if someone stripped, you know, your whatever? Took away at your livelihood, took away everything, and said, hey, you know, you're going to work as a slave. Like, come on, people. You know, we're in like 2012, we're still talking like this. 
There's nothing good about this thing called the Liberal Party of Canada and all its factions. Take a look at something called the environmental movement. And, for example, look at the Canada Constitution and say, you know what, where the fuck is the environment? Volunteerism? It's not a good thing, people. It's not. When people come to your organization and actually want to learn a little bit more about your infrastructure, that is the person you actually want to integrate into your organization so that they can help to develop the mission of your organization. Where is the funding for this stuff? In Ontario, Canada, they have this notion where, you know, it's, it's uh, just blacks who cause all these problems and shooting up the place or whatever. Wait a minute here. It's not the blacks causing the problems. It's called social infrastructure. We look at things related to policy. We even look at things related to civil conduct and things related to dem democratic. Volunteerism shouldn't even exist. Becoming a volunteer is very, very good. You have to feel, you have to feel it. You can't just become a volunteer because you want to get, you know, your job so that you can buy your bling. That's how some of these people think. It's not the blacks thinking like that. And you have the Afropeans, these black shit things. That's how they think. So we're like, oh my god, there's a defective genetic over there. Look at the way, look at their, look at their practices. Listen, man, we're not all on the same page, and some of us are on the same page. Volunteerism in respect to pay differential. Question that. Why does that even exist? Volunteer work should actually be um, a way to integrate into something called no pay differential and a quality of life. I'd like to hear your thoughts about pay differential in relation to volunteerism. Thanks for watching.